Hello my loves, it's Kasha Pladerista 101. Today we are planning in my wellness planner for the week of October 19th through the 25th. And this is in my wellness planner. I am going to be um, using washi tape from AliExpress and I'm gonna go from there that's so far what I have and if you're watching this thank you so much for coming over to my channel and if you're subscribed thank you so much for being a part of my planner family so here we go so I'm gonna start with whiting out some lines but I grabbed the wrong pen so I'm gonna have to grab another one that's white and as I'm laying the washi down I am going to be whiting out the lines so they don't show through underneath my washi. Washi can washi tapes are pretty transparent so this paper tape so oftentimes whatever is underneath will be showing through. So I want to lay it across like this. This is a very very fall washi it has lots of colorful trees and um, leaves and so on. I really, really like this one, especially with that wreath that is on this washi tape. I just thought it's such a cute little design, so it's perfect time to use it. And that the book on the fall leaves, like all of the little items on this are just super, super adorable. So I kind of wanted to do something with this. So I'm just widening out the lines as I go and press this down. So that's kind of how I've been doing it. So then this way I don't have to white out more than I would need to so it doesn't look awkward like I have no lines but it diminishes the lines just a little bit you can see, still see them through a little bit here and there but it's not bad at all so now I'm gonna um, cut this according to my planner so it's not poking out too much I'm going to cut that piece and see if I like it all the way up there or what am I doing. So give me one more second before I make a full decision. And while I am doing that, I think I'm going to cut it into the lines in a planner so it stays within the lines. I think that would be a fun idea. Okay, so here we go. That's off. Beautiful. Oh, I really like how that looks across. So I'm going to do the same thing up here. I'm going to cut this exactly to the line. I'm going to peel it up just very gently. And the nice thing about washi tape is it peels up like heaven. Okay. So this side is done. I do want to do the same thing on the other side, but I'm going to run the line the different different direction. So it's creating almost like a V in the center of my planner. You will see in just a second. And before I do that, I'm going to kind of adore this with orange washi tape to bring in more of the orange colors in that washi so I'm just going to use a thin strip to kind of make borders like so and I don't mind line showing through that one that one has no graphics on it so it doesn't bug me one bit that the lines are showing through and I left a little bit of white space in between that one so there we go I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and then I'm going to move to the page across and go from there 
so I think that will look very very cute oh and I already like how this looks I really do I am like I said leaving tiny bit of space on, on that one in between to make sure that it can breathe let's see perfect so now I can just cut the top like so and that side is done I already like how that looks so let's work on the other page what do you guys think let me know down below what you think about doing a spread like this um, this will also minimize usage of stickers if you don't have too many I've always I'm trying to come up with creative ways of people who are more of a minimalistic or as we all know planning can be so expensive so those who are more on a budget okay so now I'm gonna do the same thing up here and I am going to white out the lines with sakura jelly roll pen in white that pen I had for quite a few months now and it still hasn't run out and I've been diminishing the lines with it quite often so since it hasn't really run out yet that means that it's really really good okay and just a little bit more of line diminishing and then same thing with encircling this washi with the skinny orange one after I cut it into corners so for this side I'm using a ruler it's just a plastic ruler that I had that snaps in. There we go. So that corner is done. Now I'm going to do the top corner. The angle of this is quite different from the other one. So I think that's why I'm trying to be a little bit more precise. So there we go. Okay. So now orange washi. Again, I would like to leave just a smidge of space around it to kind of encircle that decorative washi. Okay, there we go. And then same thing on the other side. I really like how this is coming out. So what is everybody doing for Thanksgiving this year? Are you seeing your immediate family? Are you still planning on having a pretty big gathering? My family is in the process of making those decisions now. We already started talking about whether we're going to be all getting together or not and whether the risk is worth taking with some of the elderly relatives so or higher risk relatives. So we'll see what happens. But I'm really curious about how you guys are handling those plans this year with Thanksgiving and so on and I'm gonna just uh, start making my checklist and this is mainly this is my wellness planner so I do track my meals and my exercise and medicine and my mood in here so I did leave quite a bit of space to write in between but I am making quite a few lines to make sure that I can still record everything that I need to record. So 
So we have three, now I'm going to be working on the other side. So there we go. Just a couple more. And I am so slow at this, I know, I apologize. Okay, just a few more. So I'm gonna make some on Saturday and then I just need to do one more on Sunday and then kind of fill in the spread and we will be all done. So I don't wanna leave it like this. I'm gonna be adding a few more elements to it because if you guys know me and you watch my channel, you know that I like my spreads rather more full than this. So I am grabbing the mega sticker book um it, the rainbow mega sticker book and that one has everything in divided into color schemes which i love and it has these really cute i'm gonna use some boxes for sure but also has these really cute um decorations in there and if you're looking for a specific color I think this is the book I would be turning to every single time, especially because it is so truly easy to find whatever you need. Everything is already divided by color for you. So here we go. That's one. And then I need a couple more boxes that I am putting in for either journaling or my mood or something like that. And I want to keep that color scheme of yellow and orange and keep it very fallish. So I'm just grabbing a few more boxes to add to this spread. And kind of place them as I go and figure out where they can be. And yes, I know I change my mind a lot when it comes to planning with boxes and stickers. I tend to peel up my stickers quite a bit. It's just my process and I know that a lot of you want to see a full process of how everything happens. Okay, so now I just need one, well, two more. One for Friday, one for Saturday. And that'll be it. I like having a box on every single day. It's kind of like a focus of a mood or something. Or if I don't have anything to put in there, I will journal. And that's what I've been doing lately. I think it helps me kind of stay tuned with myself and then I go back and see how my week went and sometimes we all have those bad weeks and it just piles on so it's good to see those and then have a perspective of a good week compared to that or when you have a really good week you want to remember that as well so there we go I am not done because this needs something a little a little bit more i don't i was thinking about adding more washi and i probably will i need to cover up that box that says note so i'm gonna take a tambo correction tape And that one really flakes. I'm not sure if I got a bad batch or what's going on, but that one's really, really flaky. Anyhow, so that's what that is. And then there we go. So now it's truly camouflaged. So I can put maybe that book. And I can cut around it so everything is matching.
There we go. And I have quite a bit of this washi tape on my roll. And I know that I'm not going to be using much of it. Well, maybe a couple more times this year. But then it will have to stay until next fall. So I don't mind wasting a little bit here and there. So the next thing that I want to do in here is go back to that mega sticker book and find yellow. I think that would be good if I find the yellow, like yellow dots. Those. They're like yellow and brown and gold. I think those are perfect for fall. From far apart, they will look like sprinkled leaves. So I'm gonna sprinkle some joy of fall into my planner. So there we go. Look how cute that is. So I'm just gonna find spaces and fill those in with those and I think that'll be great. There we go. And lucky for me, every single one of those mega sticker books have has two pages of the same stickers. So if I run out, I don't have to worry, there's another page. I don't think I will, because look how many dots is in there. Okay. I just need to keep going and I will be done fairly soon. Oh, yeah, that book is so heavy. Every time I close it, it shakes my whole desk. So I apologize. Okay. Um, let's see how that looks and then I think I need a little bit more of those sprinkles right on Tuesday and that might be it. We'll see. I like kind of um, moving back and seeing if I need any other things. And I have glue on my nails now from the stickers, the adhesive transferred over, but that's okay. And I'm not sure. What do you guys think about this? I think this is all done and I should just put it back into my planner and enjoy the spread. I really enjoyed making this. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and don't forget to check out the giveaway especially if you lasted this long with me you should definitely go into my giveaway video have a great week and i'll see you guys soon bye